Okay, so what we're gonna do now is install two of these uh, combiner boxes. I think it's the Midnight Solar uh, MN PV6 Disco has the disconnect. And we'll talk more about that later when we get into it. I got two of these. So we gotta get uh, our, our wires from the panels directly with the H4 connectors. They'll come down here, there'll be about 14 of them or so wires come down they'll feed out through here i haven't figured out exactly how but they're going to get you got to go out through here out to the outside wall because i want these combiner boxes mounted on the outside wall so the fire department can get to them easily and cut them off in case there's a fire then the combined pv comes back through this uh this pvc through the wall and it'll split through these six by six cable trays and go where it needs to go, either to the chargers or through breakers, but we'll get into that when we get to it. So for now, we gotta get started by figuring out how to get to the outside wall and where these are gonna be mounted. So let's get started. Corner thing I marked, that's the bottom of that six by six cable tray. So if I have a couple of holes cut here and here, then Let's see if I see the bottom of this one. I could do a knockout here, maybe a couple of these, and mount it like right here somewhere. About like that. Uh, in order to cut some holes in my cable tray, I'm going to have to take this down. Lift this into place and mark the holes so I can drill through the wall. Okay, got to drill through the wall now. Okay, so new problem right here. That's the fire blocking. So we're okay on this one. That's fine. But this one is going to be right in the fire blocking. So I can't go there, gotta go somewhere else. Okay, so I've decided I am gonna go ahead and put these on the outside wall, right on the other side of this wall. And I'm gonna run them like one here, and then one at the same height right here. So they'll be you know, about 16 inches or so apart which is about what they are here. That'll give me plenty of room to do what I need to do, and it should be pretty clean and pretty simple. So, I just need to get through. This is gonna be the hard and messy part. Well, got that part out. Now, let's see what other trouble we can get into. Look at that. A baby could do it. A baby. Let's say you just bought this and you're wondering, how do I get this thing out of here? Well, let me show you. It's super easy. Just pop this thing out of here like that. See that? Oh, that was cool. See? Just put this across here and pop it right out. And once that's out of there, then this is where you cut your fingers. <laughs> then this thing can come out pretty easy, actually. See that? You just lift it up and see where they're tabbed in the bottom? You just pull it straight out like that. Boom. Nothing to it. This is a combiner box, and this is what's going to be coming up. So that knockout is too small. So I want to punch this out bigger. Right, so I want to do something like that. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, here we go. Old Faithful. Look, we're about to void the warranty. All right. Hello, Midnight Solar Tech Support. There's something wrong with my combiner box. It has a giant hole in the bottom. Oh, look at that. Oh, like a professional. I should work for Midnight Solar. Jesus. Look at that. Huh? Couldn't get any better. Let's see what that's going to look like now. Boom. Oh, yeah. Man. Plenty of room. Nice. Let's do the other one. Does that look good? Heck yeah. Oops. Set that on the carpet. Nobody's going to notice. Look at that. One, two. See? Put another one of these in. We'll put these in tomorrow. Just ready to go. Just drill some holes. So, I gotta get through here. Something like this. Let's go around and look at the outside. Okay. Goes on there, and that'll go something like that. And the box on top. All right, so I wanna have it sticking through just a little bit. So maybe about like that. Okay, so I got this glued up. So now this. It's gonna go in there. That's pretty good. All right, so it's tacked into place. Now, we got our combiner box, a piece of PVC. And that'll go about like that. This is just practice run here. It's the wires. I'll pull them out through here. And then just run them up here. Now, boom, up to the charge controller. Let me go too crazy on this. All right. Next, that goes just like that. All right, so I just want to get a little caulk on here. Bunch of it on there now. Big goopy mess. like welding. Look at that. It's running a bead. Okay. quarter that's like that not gluing every so here's the next one All 
right, there's the two combiner boxes that are mounted against the wall. So next, I gotta wire them up. All right, so there's my two combiner boxes. Got them all mounted up, the conduit into the uh, cable tray inside. There's nothing in here yet, but we gotta get that wired up. We'll wire from here to the charge controllers first. Then we get the solar panels on the roof, we can wire up the rest of them. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.